Okay, so in this video, let us look at demystifying the second law of Mr. De Morgan, that is the complement of intersection of two sets is equal to the union of the individual complements. Now, we will follow the same approach like we did for understanding the first law, that is, we will tackle the left hand side first using a Venn diagram. We'll do this operation on a Venn diagram and see what do we get. And then we will look at the right hand side of this and see what do we get. Now let's start first. So we have this universal set. This is set A, orange circle, set B, the purple one. The same thing for here. We have this set B and then this is set A. Now first we need to find out A intersection B. Intersection means what are the elements that are common to both A and B. And in this case it is pretty straightforward. This region over here is common between A and B, right? So let me just, so this is A intersection B and I can represent that A intersection B. Now, what is the complement? And complement simply means everything except A intersection B, which means three parts, essentially, let me use a different color, this part, this part, and everything outside here. So that is what represents A intersection B complement. Now, this is what we get, right? So when we, what we are getting here is all the elements except the elements that are common to A and B. That is what we have got over here. Now let us see what happens when we look at the right hand side. So let's first take A complement and I'm using orange. So A complement is everything except A, right? So it means this part of B, excluding this overlapping part and this part outside that is the other elements in the universal set except for A. Now, if we want to take B complement, okay, so let me just first say that all this is actually A complement, right? So this is A complement. Now, if we want to look at B complement, which means that we have this part and then everything outside, right? So that is what we have as B complement, okay? And now we have to take the union of these two, right? Which means all the elements that are in A and B, that is A or B, we combine both of them together, right? We get a set. And when you do that, you will find out that what has been left out is this part, right? This part is left out. So we get all the elements that are present in A and B, but not common to A and B and which is the same result that we got when we did the left-hand side operations. Therefore, we have proved De Morgan's second law. So I hope that this has enabled you to visualize how the De Morgan's laws work. Very, very helpful. Cannot understate how important these are in multiple problems that we will be doing now and later on.